Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. I am the Grand Cat and we are just at the start of a game here. And what our objective is, is to try and normal summon or special summon five fire type monsters in order to unlock the new world. So we're going to try and do that. Now normally I would set this but I'm going to normal summon it just so that we get the additional summon because I do have a Sphere Kribo and a Kiteroid in my hand which will keep me nice and protected. We'll see what the opponent does. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Then yes. And... Oh, it doesn't let me go for a big one. Yeah, interesting. Okay, it's Fire King Island, here we go. So, I think we're going to destroy this. We're going to add... The big guy. Uh, no, we don't want to activate that. Now, this can all be done once per turn, right? Yes. But I can't activate that just yet. So, I think we're just going to... Normal summon this guy. So, that says summons two fire monsters. Let's get one of these, although it's less necessary now. So I'm pretty sure that after this thing attacks, it loses all of its counters. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's use this and we'll go into the fiery one. I mean, we could normal summon it, but why? It's a terrible idea. We also have no real way of getting rid of this, which is, um, mainly annoying. Okay, I guess we're just going to do this thing. Seemed wasteful, but the objective is just to summon as many fire monsters as possible. Well, this is also a fire monster. This is not exactly the way this is supposed to be going. It's supposed to be going slightly better, but um, whatever. The thing is, I had um, Sphere Creepo and Kiteroid, like, all set up. Now, have I summoned five? I think I've summoned five. I think I've summoned five. If I've not summoned five, then I've summoned four. We just need to do one more. But let's finish this off anyway. And we will see if it gives us a brand new world and a brand new character. I am hoping that we are going to get a Soul Burner here. Did we not? Did I only do four? Oh, right, okay. No, there we go. You just have to 
receive it. You receive it to 10 gems. And then unlock v rings complete all the dual world unlock missions, which we have done. Oh, very nice, Murray. And screenshot for the thumbnail. Hmm, maybe try and get it with the less bright flashy bit on it. There we go. Got it that time. You can now use Soul Burner and his deck. You can now use his skill, Rise from the Valley of the Flames. And his ace monster, Salmagrate Hero, Heat Leo, is not included as a default deck. Um, but you can get it, and I already have. New missions are available. Complete the stage missions, obtain characters from the V Rain series. So, what is our first couple of missions? That's a question. Oh, well, we've unlocked Soul Burner. So we want to perform 10 Link Summons, that is one of the things that we want to do. Um, win 6 duels and summon 4 monsters in 1 duel. Okay, that's easy enough. So let's see your deck. As expected, it is absolutely atrocious. Hmm. We will certainly need to upgrade some of that with um, wait a lot of this stuff. A lot of Salman great stuff, certainly. Um, but I may try and build the deck off camera because I think it's going to take a while. Um, but let's just take a look over here and look at the rewards. So these are a few things that you certainly want to get your hands on. I mean, not these two. <laughs> In fact, actually, not any of the rest of these. Um, really just those three cards. Uh, the Fox, the Sanctuary, and the, um, the Fire Kitty Cat. And even the Fire Kitty Cat is not essential. Um, but other things that are essential if we click on so um, the Jack Jagger is one that we want to get from Soul Burner um, can't remember if Sunlight will any good there's a second Sunlight Jack Jagger we don't need that we certainly don't need multiple of that Gazelle is one that we 
definitely really neat. Yes, and I think you only get um, the one of it. You do. So, the objective now is to get Soulburner up to level 23 to unlock that. And how do we unlock this? Available after stage 10. Mm -hmm. Available after stage 6. It's interesting that Playmaker is, um, like, not the main character, even though he's quite clearly the main character. So, that's interesting. But, I think that's going to be it for this little video, folks. In fact, actually, one last thing. Let's see if we can find the secret stuff. So there's the first one, it's changing the videos. Is this one going to be the lights again? Is it not the lights? Oh, there we go. Just have to click the back lights. Um, is this one? Nope. That's not what it is. I think it's um, a little bit higher up. No, it's not that one either. There's something to make... Um, something certainly to make um, balloons up here. But I can't remember where it is that you click and it's not there. Dang. If anyone remembers where it is that you click in this area, let me know. Maybe it's changed here? But it used to be about there. Hmm. Dang it. Anytime you click too close, it just <laughs> takes you into it. There is certainly something that you can press that makes um, the little balloons pop out. There we go. There, that's the area. Oh, we got a thing. <laughs> nice. So that's where it is. That was the location up there. And this one, it used to be the trash bin, but it's now over here. Does that always do that? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was maybe a secret thing. But, yep, yeah, there are all the secret things that you can do. Um, nope, not what I wanted. Click back on that. It is the TVs. There. Okay, so that is going to be it for this little video, folks. Uh, I am going to make a Salamant Great deck, um, or at least the best one that I can do. And then I'm going to play a little bit of this and see how far I can get with it. So that's going to be it for this video, folks. I really hope that you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please give us a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go out. And be sure to check the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links um, playlist. There's a whole load of bunch there that you can check out. And the Exodia video is pretty popular. I think it's got over a million and a half views now at this point. People love that Exodia deck. Um, so they need to do another Exodia video at some point. But that's going to be it for this video, folks. I hope you all enjoyed, and we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.